Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of vector algebra. And if I talk about the question which is given to us here from this topic, the question tells us, let a vector C be coplanar with two vectors that are given to us as A cap and B cap. So A, it's minus I plus j cap plus k cap and vector b it is 2i plus j minus k so these are the two vectors that we have been given and the question also says let the vector c also satisfy the conditions so the conditions given is dot product of c with a plus b and the cross product of a cross b that entire thing it's given to us as minus 42 and the second condition it says cross product of C with A minus B which is in the dot product with K cap it is equal to 3. So the question asks us to find out the magnitude of that vector C which is whole squared. And if I talk about the answer choices that are given to us here they are 24, 29, 35 and 42. So we need to figure out which one of the answer choice is the correct answer for the question given to us. So let's try to solve this question first. So if I try solving, I know my vector A, it is given to me as minus I cap plus J cap plus K cap. And my vector B, it is given to me as 2I cap plus J cap minus K cap. Now let's say my vector C is having the coefficients as x, y, and z for the three-dimensional vector i, j, k. So I know if I use my first condition, that is this, that says dot product of c with a plus b and a cross b. So let's find first a plus b and a cross b. Then we'll find the cross product of that as well. So vector a plus vector b, if I'm just adding out, so minus i plus j plus k, and plus 2i plus j minus k. So you get 2i minus i which is i. j plus j is 2j. And k and minus k gets cancelled out. So you are left with i plus 2j. If you just find the cross product of the two vectors a and b. You get that as i, j, k. The coefficients of a and b which is minus 1, 1, 1. 2, 1, minus 1. So i. This gives you minus 1 minus 1 minus j this gives you minus 1 into minus 1 which is 1 minus 2 into 1 which is minus 2 plus k which becomes minus 1 minus 2 so you get minus 2i minus j into minus 1 so plus j and this becomes minus 3k so you have your cross product of a and b as minus 2i plus j minus 3k now, the question further tells us that C is coplanar with the two vectors A and B. So, I know when it is coplanar means the scalar triple product becomes equal to 0. And when I have the scalar triple product, I know it is nothing but the determinant of the coefficients of the three vectors A, B and C. So, A for C, we know it is X, Y, Z. For A, we already know the coefficients are minus 1, 1 and 1. And for B, we know it is 2, 1 and minus 1. So determinant of that, if I equate it with 0, I get X as minus 1, minus 1, minus Y. You get that as 1, minus 2. And Z, you get that as minus 1, minus 2. Equating it with 0, you get that as minus 2X. This becomes plus Y. And this becomes minus 3Z is equal to 0. So you have one equation in terms of x, y, and z. Let's mark that as equation 1. Now let's see the other condition that we had. We found this. We found this. Now let's find the cross product of this entire thing. So if I try to find the cross product of that entire thing, I have vector a plus b. And I want to find the cross product of that with vector of a cross b. So I have again the same determinant as i, j, k. For vector a plus b, we know it was i plus 2j, so 1, 2, and 0. 
and for vector a cross b we have that as minus 2 1 and minus 3 so you get i if i solve this it becomes minus 6 and minus 0 minus j this becomes minus 3 and 0 this becomes k 1 and minus of 4 minus of minus 4 so 1 plus 4 which is 5 so from here you get minus 6i minus 3j plus 5k now the question tells us that this if i apply it with the dot product it's equal to minus 42 so if i use that idea vector c with a plus b and cross product of a cross b it is minus 42 so vector c i know it is x i plus y j plus z k dot product with the entire thing that we got it as was minus 6 minus 3 and 5 so minus 6 minus of minus so i should have that as plus 3 not minus 3 so we have made a mistake there it should be plus 3 so minus 6 i plus 3 j plus 5 k it is equal to minus 42 so if i just solve this expression i know dot product i dot i is 1 so minus 6 x y into 3 that is 3 y and 5 z is equals to minus 42 this is our second equation in terms of x y and z now we need one more equation in terms of x y and z so that i can solve them simultaneously and get the values of x y z so let's find out the third idea it says c cross product of that c vector with a minus b and dot product of that with only k cap is equal to 3 so let's find a minus b first let's find vector a bar minus b bar now so vector a we already know it is minus i plus j plus k and vector b bar we know it is 2i plus j minus k so if i have minus sign in between i have minus i minus 2i plus j minus j and plus k plus k so you get this as minus 3i this becomes 0 and you get that as 2k so you have that now once i have the cross product of c bar to be calculated with a bar minus b bar I get that as determinant as i, j, k. For vector c, we just found out that it was having the coefficients x, y, z. And for a bar minus b bar, I have that as minus 3, 0, and 2. So if I just try to solve this, I get i as 2y minus 0 minus j. I get that as 2x minus of minus 3z, so 2x plus 3z. And for k, I get that as 0 minus of minus 3y, so plus 3y. So you get this entire expression as 2y i cap minus 2x plus 3z j cap plus 3y k cap. Now, once I have this entire cross product with me, it tells me further that the dot product of that with k cap as the vector is equal to 3. So let's find the dot product of this entire thing. So C bar cross A bar minus B bar. The dot product of that with K cap is equal to 3. So I know already now that 2Y I cap minus 2X plus 3Z J cap plus 3Y K cap. The dot product of that with vector K is equal to 3. So since I don't have i, I don't have j, the dot product of that with this will become 0. So you just apply the dot product of k cap and you get 3y into 1 is equal to 3. So that gives you 3y as 3. And from here you get y as directly 1. So that was your third equation, but that directly gives us the value of y as 1. So in the equations 1 and 2, if I just put y as 1, my equation 1 turns out to become minus 2x minus 3z plus 1 equals to 0 so that makes it minus 1 and that gives us 2x plus 3z equals 1 that becomes a one equation in terms of x and z and the other also if i have to put y as 1 again this gives me minus 6x plus 5z plus 3 if it goes there it becomes minus 3 and becomes minus 45 so you have that as your fifth equation 
once i have both of these equations i solve them simultaneously the first equation was minus 6x plus 5z equals minus 45 the second equation i have that as 2x plus 3z equals 1 So once I multiply this with three, I get that as six x plus nine z is equal to three. And I add this equation with this equation. If I add it, minus six x and plus six x gets cancelled. You get nine plus five fourteen z minus forty five plus three, which is minus forty. So from here, you get z as minus forty two over fourteen. That makes it as minus three. Once you get z as minus three, you just put that in the equation. Let's say in this equation, if I put z as minus three, I get x as two x minus nine equals one. That gives me two x equals ten, and that gives me x as five. Now I have all of the ideas with me. I have x, I have y, I have z. So my vector C becomes phi i plus j minus three k. So if I just find the magnitude of that and square it, I get square root of five square plus one square plus minus three square, the whole square. So square root and square gets cancelled. You get twenty five plus one twenty six plus nine, which is thirty five. So you get the answer to the question which is asked to us, and that matches with option C again. So option C becomes the answer for the question here. i hope you have understood how to solve this type of question so you just need to have the knowledge of how to find the dot product and cross product you got three equations in terms of x y z once you solve them you got the values of x y z and then you just find the magnitude of vector c and square it you get that as 35 which matches with option c i'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic and we are going to continue our series of questions on jwe mains so stay tuned for more videos to roll out also if you are enjoying this videos that we are doing every day please do like the videos and do support the channel and subscribe to my channel and share the videos with your friends also who are involved in the preparation of the questions on jwe so they can also take the benefit from this questions which we are solving on every day basis See you again tomorrow with one other video. Thank you.